What is up, Low Heat fans? Have an iconic pair today that has turned into Low Heat for a variety of reasons. But first, a little appetizer uh, before the main course because uh, I, I don't have too much to say about these, to be honest. Stick around for, for the thoughts I do have uh, and to see them. But uh, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a question-heavy video. So please feel free to comment. Please feel free to comment. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Like, thumbs up, subscribe. Real easy. Click a button. Uh, that would be great. So this is an interactive video. Looking for opinions on this one. If you want to just sit back and watch, I feel you. I do that too. First package from Pleasures. Let's get this shipping label out of there. First package from Pleasures. Very excited to get this in. Got a pair of shorts, and I got an Outcast Pleasures collab tee. I just did a vintage t-shirt video where I talk about what vintage to buy, what vintage not be, to be wary of, and in it I discuss things like this. So please watch that video. It's not my typical video on this channel of shoe unboxings, sneaker unboxings, but I go over a lot of stuff. Uh, talk about a lot of different things, and this is one of them. When new brands, newly retro, old photos, classics, every brand knows that vintage and retro is cool. Everyone knows about $500 t-shirts, so everyone is trying to get in on that with collabs, official collabs, etc. Brands are retroing their old stuff. Uh, you know, WWE just saw has, you know, they, they, they do old rock t-shirts, um, and stuff because they have the license for that obviously in-house it's just you know it's newer it's tagless uh, it's double stitched uh, so the, the debate of whether it's more value you know whether it's a waste of money to get true vin true vintage or a reprints like this uh, weigh in check that video out but anyways I'm not buying any Vintage Outcast Stankonia t-shirt for $200 that just don't have it in me. If I was rich, I totally would. Because uh, I think that would be dope. Love Outcast, but this is the uh, affordable way to do it. Even this, you know, it's not cheap. It's a heavyweight t-shirt. A smaller graphic, but I love the I love the photo. I like Outcast. This is a close I'm going to get probably to a Vintage Outcast t-shirt. So, next best thing. That's, that's the point of that video that I made, though. There's a lot of next best things out there, so it can be careful. Can it erode the value of your uh, vintage T-shirts if you spend a if you spend a fortune, uh, just because T-shirt with Outcast on it, accessible supplies there, D making demand go down. Now, true vintage T-shirts obviously different. Not a lot of supply. Demand's high. Not a lot of supply, but you know, reprints and bootlegs and stuff like that can creep into the demand okay so let me know what i really want to know i want you to watch that video i was talking about but i really want to know what you think about these bad boys what do we th what do here let's get this out of the way what do we think about these yeah damn you can't get good picture what do we think about these now I asked on Instagram, I asked on Instagram when I saw these, when Pleasures posted these on their Instagram website, I, I put a poll up for my followers and I was like, am I too old to wear these or should I get these? I live in LA, a lot of old people can wear wild stuff, but I just feeling like I'm getting to the age where I wear these out to Whole Foods, you know, I'm just a meme, you know, I, I'm a stereotype, but I thought these were dope. It was a unanimous vote. I think only like 12 people voted. Go follow me on Instagram at lowheat underscore fancy pants. Basically the same thing as this YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, but like it was unanimous. Everyone said I should get these. So I did. I pulled the trigger. You can wear shorts year round in LA. Um, I think they're pretty cool. I think they're kind of fire. I'm going to be rolling up to Starbucks with some heat on my ass. Skulls. Uh, God, if you've been to the uh, catacombs in Paris, this is definitely what it's inspired by. Wild. Highly suggest checking out the catacombs in Paris. It's kind of sad, actually, just all those bodies piled up on display. 
Uh, still cool. I'm not saying don't go. I'm not like making some political statement about it. I'm just saying it's a lot of a lot of dead human remains in one area just stacked. Who knows who you are? Life is fleeting. Anyways, these shorts are dope though. These shorts are forever. Uh, if you didn't get a true look at the t-shirt, here, here it is. Sorry. It's just a t-shirt. Small graphic though, as you can see. Small graphic. I think these are still available on Pleasures. Um, anyways, I think it's dope. Probably going to wear it to the airport today. I am... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll be opening these shoes. I am going to the airport because I'm going to an event where Adidas is the sponsor. So I have all my Adidas on deck. Uh, it's rare where, like, you know, I'm always wearing Nikes and lately New Balance. I do have a lot of Adidas shoes. Just, you know, I wear them only here and there. So I'm very excited to pull out um, my Adidas collection. Pleasures came with some stickers. And uh, wear that, wear that Adidas rotation uh, on my trip. Ch Again, go to my Instagram to see, uh, what I, to see what I'm rocking. Check out my Instagram to see what I brought on this trip. trip. Follow me for my very artistic sneaker photos. Okay, next opening, next opening. I got the Kith Columbia wide brim hiking hat. I liked a lot of their collection, but I don't have $700 to be spending. So I, I instead of getting something that I already have a million of, I was like jacket, I have a million jackets, sweatshirts, have a million sweatshirts. Pants, have plenty of hiking pants, etc. I do not have one of these. And if you hike or camp a lot, these are useful. Maybe a little dorky looking, but these are super, super useful. I do not have one of these. I am stoked to have one finally. And it's a, a hype <laughs> collab, none, uh, no less. So very excited to try this out on my next big camping or hiking trip. This will keep the head cool. I'm getting old. I use hiking poles. I use bucket hats. You need all this stuff. When you're young, you can just run around in basketball shorts and basketball shoes and, and one bottle of water and you'll be fine. Once you, you know, once you wisen up and your body is yelling at you for not preparing, you prepare the hell. You wear the proper clothes. You bring the proper amount of water and equipment. And because if you didn't, you wouldn't get through it. Um, it has this fold down, I think, neck protector. What is this? What is this? I think it, I thought this was a yeah. I think this is a neck. Yeah, fold down neck, neck protector. Gets hot out. Um, but this is the Kith Columbia collab. I I need to get invited on some of those Ronnie, Ronnie trips, capsule debut trips. Someone at Kith. Yo. I'm I am I am the lowest of low low influencers. Uh, please invite me. I would love. Wouldn't that be dope if you think about it? If you got invited to one of those Ronnie Feig um, trips, uh, if you don't know, he he invites you know industry friends of his in the fashion, music, what have you, industry to some of these trips, and then they they take photos, videos when they debut a collection like this. They have a good time. They eat good food. And uh, they show off the collection on other influencers. Pretty genius way. It's probably pretty expensive, but good way to get uh, brand buzz and sell out your capsule. Um, so anyways, I think that's fire. Let me know what you think about this and uh, get me on one of those trips, any of you listening. All right, finally to these. I'll probably talk about these less than those other items. Thanks for still watching if you're still watching. I almost didn't want to make a video of these. Um, I, I just, you know, I, I just, anytime I get a shoe in, I should make a video. I need to make content out of it. Yeah, and I'm not seated shoes on the regular or at all. And um, I, I don't buy shoes. Well, I do buy shoes a lot, but I can't be buying them constantly. So anytime I get a pair in, no matter what it is, I should be doing a video. And so that's what we're doing here. We're doing a video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. We have the Easy Boost 350 V2 in white, core black, and red. Size 12, half size up because that's what you do in Yeezy 350s if you don't know by now. And what do we have here? We have a classic, the most iconic probably pair of Yeezys. 
Let me know in the, in the comments if you think a, a pair is more iconic than these. My framing has been all off this video. I apologize if things have been cut off. Don't yell at me. I would say this is the most iconic pair of Yeezys. Uh, the most ubiquitous. This is the... I've never owned a pair, but if you don't, they re-release these now seemingly. Kanye wants everyone to own a pair of Yeezys or have the ability to get a pair of Yeezys for retail. And it seems like he's on pace to do that because these, these have restocked a number of times. This is my first time getting these. Got these off the confirmed app. The highest success rate I have with any app or draw is confirmed. So shouts to confirm, shouts to Adidas. Um, again, I'm a higher tier member, so maybe that helps, but... I have good luck with them. I don't hit on everything, but I hit on, I would say, 80% of the things that I enter draws for. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I I like these shoes, but at this point, these are like, you know, the, the black and white panda dunk low. Like when something is so popular uh, and, and you're like judged for wearing it, like does it, is it still good? And, and then this has a lot of strikes going against it. One, as we already said, being retro a million times. That makes more supply, demand goes down, price, resale price, price, just rarity of seeing it, all the things. When it gets retroed a ton or remade a ton, just the rarity and uniqueness of it goes down. Same with the value. Strike one. Strike two, it is ubiquitous amongst non seeker heads, types of people, like, uh, so uh, lower value there. Three, Kanye. Kanye is. I'm sorry, I just can't believe people mess with them. I don't want to get, I don't want people to get mad at me uh, in the comments, but I, I am, uh, I'm not, I'm not, if you are a huge Kanye fan, I'm not judging you. It's just more an honest question. Honest question, no judgment. I'm curious, let me know in the comments why you think or why you are still a huge Kanye fan when there's been, you know, mental health type issues with and, and, and stuff. Not that you don't like people with mental health issues, but like, you know, some of the harassment of Kim, um, some of the crazy things he said, you know, the whole mega Trump stuff. I, I just, I'm just kind of surprised people still mess with him. Now, you know, I don't think George, Michael Jordan is an angel or a saint. I'm sure he's done some crappy stuff, um, but he is just not in the era of being public about it. And Kanye is very public about it. It's well documented, everything. He, he puts it on video. So I... And, and on social media, I'm just very curious um, why people still mess with him when he does that. I, I'm, which brings me to my final question. These are essentially the, the bread ones of the Yeezy line. Do I, and I do like these. But with all those strikes going against it, do I keep these and just sit on them? Do I wear them? It's more do I keep these and sit on them and like hope that Kanye turns around his ways and I don't feel bad wearing these someday, and maybe these go up. But for all the reasons I just I just labeled, I think they're going to keep making these. Uh, even though this is the most iconic shoe, even though I like them, they're going to keep making these. I don't think Kanye's going to change anytime soon. Um, so therefore, I think this is a flip. Uh, these are, I don't know, they're expensive retail, and they're not, because they're so prolific, they don't go for a ton that being said, dead stock pairs go quickly, be, or, you know, the, these wear quickly. They show wear. Unlike, like, a pair, a nice pair of Jordan 1s where they've been wearing 50, worn 50 times and they, they look just as good, if not better. These show wear really quick, so dead stock pairs be, do, um, you know, go up over time. Anyways, let me know in the comments, what should I do with these? What should I do with these? Keep them, rock them, flip them. And let me know why you think people still like Kanye or why you like Kanye. Again, no no huge judgment. I just with all everything that he's done, he just harassing the wife in public just doesn't isn't a great look. Whether he's just he might be justified. It's just not a great look to drag it out into the public. That's all. Maybe maybe he's justified. Maybe she's doing things behind the scene we don't know about. Um, so that could be it. But Anyways, those are my thoughts. Please subscribe. More low heat coming uh, soon. 
I am taking a little trip, but I'll be back in a week with some uh, more unboxing videos. And maybe getting close to a thousand subscribers.